Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I'm here with Game 2 of the 2018 Houston Astros versus the 1984 Texas Rangers. <laughs> This, as a reminder, is a best of three series. The team that wins advances to the winner round, to the second round of the uh, however many teams it ends up being. Right now, the 1988 A's have already advanced as they beat the 1966 Senators. And we are looking to add one of these teams to the winner circle. Now, as you'll recall, if you've seen the previous video, since this is game two, you will know that Houston won game one by the score of 3 nothing, And they scored all three of their runs in the first inning and then didn't score after that. But the Rangers couldn't muster anything, so they lost 3 nothing. And so here we are. Texas is facing a must-win situation, whereas the Astros can afford to lose and then go to game three and try to win game three. On the mound for the teams, we will have Justin Verlander for the Houston Astros going up against Charlie Huff of the 1984 Texas Rangers. So without any further delay, let's get on with it. Um, the leadoff hitter for Houston is Jose Altuve. The lineups will be the same as they were in Game 1. He rolled a 611, which is a fly ball to right field. The right fielder may be the only good one they have, and he is. He's a right field too. That's George Wright. And that's a 13, probably an out. And he is. One away. And El Tuve is hitless in the series so far, surprisingly. Alex Bregman is up. He gets a 3-7, which is a double one to 16 or a single. And it is a double. So Bregman gets his second hit of the series and his second double as well. And I did not even write Huff's name in here. So that's a an oversight. So Huff gives up his first hit of the game. First base runner, first hit. Yuli Gurriel is up. He gets a 5-4. That's a fly ball to center field. He's out. And that brings up George Springer. And George Springer gets a 3-3, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. And he is also out. He had a hit in game one. And now I have to now write Verlander's name in there because I did not write his name in it either. So, that brings up Mickey Rivers' first hitter for the Texas Rangers. Remember, the Rangers didn't even get a run in the last game. That's a 4-7. That's a strikeout for Mickey Rivers. You can expect a lot of those today with Verlander pitching. Gary Ward is up, and he gets a 1-8, which is a home run 1-18. This could be their first run, but it isn't. It's a double. <laughs> My God. All right. Well, you know, you don't really want that. You want to get that run on the board because who knows if you're going to be able to get it in. So a double with one out by Gary Ward, and that brings up Buddy Bell. And he gets a 5-10, which is a catcher card. And the catcher is... Um, should still be Gaddis now. Went back to Gaddis. That's a 16 and a 5. Catcher 5 is a wild pitch followed by foul out. Let me make sure that, um, that Gaddis is in the lineup, but I'm pretty sure I did put him back. Yeah, I did. All right, so that is him. So now it's a runner on third, two away with Larry Parrish up. 
and he gets a 2-5, which is a single one to 14. And he just barely gets it and knocks in the run. So Parrish with his first hit of the series and the first run scored by the um, What did I just do here? Oh. And the first run scored by the Texas Rangers in the series, and they take a 1 0 lead. And Pete O'Brien is up, and he gets a 1 5, which is a single double asterisk. So that puts runners at the corners. So Verlander has now given up three hits. Runners are at the corners with two out, and George right up, and he gets a 3 6, which is a strikeout. So Verlander with the with the K, and uh, oh wait a minute, that that's one run right there. I'm I'm stiff in Texas, so we gotta yeah put one run on the board. So the Rangers have a one nothing lead here in game two, and Josh Reddick comes up at the top of the uh, second. Five nine is a triple one to four or a double. That's gonna be a double. So Reddick with a hit, and he is actually three for four in the series with two doubles. So he's been really hot. They need to cool him off somehow. Evan, Gatt Evan Gaddis is up, and he gets a 6-10, which is a single. Moves runners to the corners. I'm not going to try to score him because there's no outs, and they can probably expect... More runs than, than, you know. I mean, this really team should be scoring more than three runs. Marwin, Marvelous Marwin Gonzalez, 6'10", and that's a single that knocks in a run. So he gets a hit and an RBI. Hit allowed by Huff and an earned run. Two runners are on at first and second with still no outs. That's a 6-4. That's a pop out to third. So there's one away as Carlos Correa gets out. Tony Kemp is up and he gets a 6-10, which as we have um, discovered is a single. Still only one out, so they're going to hold the all the runners and wait for them to just be knocked in on the merry-go-round. El Tuve is up and that's a 4-8, which is a double one to three single double asterisk. That's going to be a single double asterisk and it knocks in two runs. And El Tuve with his first hit of the series. And Houston takes a 3 to 1 lead. Alex Bregman up. 5 9. There he is. He strikes again. Triple 1 to 4 or a double. That's going to be a double and that's going to knock in a run. And he is incredibly, he is three for um, three for six with three doubles. Yeah. And two RBIs on that. And now Houston has a five to one lead. Guriel is up. He gets a three three, which is a ground ball A. There's two away. Uh, that ground ball was to the second baseman. And George Springer is up, and he gets a 1-7, which is a strikeout. So Huff does get out of it finally, but not before Houston scores five runs and takes a 5-1 to one lead. And with Verlander pitching, you have to think that's going to be enough. Wayne Tollison is up, and he gets a 3-7, which is a ground ball to the shortstop, and he's out. Curtis Wilkerson's up. He gets a 6-8, which is a strikeout. Third strikeout for Verlander. And Ned Yost is up, and that's a 5-6, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. And the shortstop is a, um, a 2. And that's a 10. That could be something. And it is a two-base error. Ned Yost gets on 
by a two base air. And that's an air by Korea, I believe. Mickey Rivers up 6 7. That's a ground ball to the second baseman. He is a 2. That's a 2. That's going to be a single 1. So that's going to put runners at the corners. Which brings up Gary Ward. And he gets a 4 8 and strikes out. So Verlander ends the threat as Texas goes down with no runs. And that brings up Reddick for Houston. He gets a 6-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. He's a 4. That's a 12. 12 and 4 is an out. So Reddick's out. Evan Gaddis gets a 5-10. 5-10 is a home run 1-17. to And that is a home run. Evan Gaddis goes deep. And he makes the score six to one. And Marvelous Marwin comes up and he gets a single. So they're just hitting Huff left and right here. Huff doesn't have the answer, so we're going to go to the bullpen and warm somebody up. course they had terrible relief pitching so they're gonna warm up Joey McLaughlin in the bullpen Carlos Correa is up he gets a 5-8 which is a fly ball center field so that's one out brings up Tony Kemp Tony Kemp gets a 4-5 which is a ground ball second base C that moves the runner to second but there is two outs and with two down and a man at second, we have Altuve up, and he gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a fly ball to right field. And, uh, yeah, one run comes in there on a Gaddis homer. So, they take the 6-1 to one lead. They lead by five, Houston does, here in the bottom of the third with Buddy Bell up. He gets a 3-7, which is a single. Verlander's fifth hit allow. Larry Parrish gets a 4-5, which is a strikeout. So with one down, we have Pete O'Brien up, and he gets a 2-8, which is a ground ball uh, shortstop into a double play. So Pete O'Brien ends the inning for them. No runs come across, and we are going to take Huff out. And we're going to bring in McLaughlin. Because Huff was woefully ineffective for the time that he was out there. And that will bring to the plate for Houston Alex Bregman, who has been hot. He has been hot as a skittle this uh, series so far. 4-6, he gets a fly ball to right field, one away. Yuli Gurriel, Gurriel, and he pops out to third base, so he's out, two away, and McLaughlin makes quick work of them here. And Springer gets a 5-11, which is a catcher's card. The catcher is Ned Yost, and he's a 4, and that's a 10. So let's see what that is. That is a safe at first on air dribbler. So Yost makes an error and allows Springer on board on an error. So let's record that. And that brings up Josh Reddick, who has also been pretty hot, and he, but he strikes out. So McLaughlin does strike him out, and the Astros... Get no runs in the top of the fourth. But they do still lead 6-1 to one 
which seems to be an insurmountable lead here, but George Wright is going to try to break into it. 3-7 is a single one to 13, and he does get a single. They got a lot of work to do, though, a lot of work. Sixth hit, though, given up by Verlander, which is uncharacteristic. Wayne Tollison, 2-3, is a ground ball, second base, double play, so there's two down. And that brings up Wilkerson, and he gets a 4-6, which is a strikeout. So he Verlander characteristically has six strikeouts, but uncharacteristically he's given up six hits, too. And that brings up Evan Gaddis, and he gets a 4-8, which is a fly ball center field, so he's out. Normally, I would put in defensive replacements for Houston even right now, but Marwin Gonzalez up. 3-5 is a single one to 12. But this lead is really safe enough that it really doesn't um, call for defensive replacements. So Marwin Gonzalez gets aboard with a single. First hit given up by McLaughlin. Carlos Correa gets a 5-7, which is a strikeout, two away. And that brings up Tony Kemp. And Tony Kemp gets a 2-7 hmm, is a walk. It's the only thing in the column, and he walks. So McLaughlin walks Tony Kemp. And Jose Altuve is up, and that's a 5-7, which is a strikeout. Altuve not having a very good series. But still, his team looks to be in full control of going to the next round. Ned Yost is up. That's a 5-12, which is a walk. So Ned Yost gets aboard with a walk. Yost is a little bit of a thorn here in uh, Verlander's butt. Mickey Rivers is up and he gets a 2-7, which is a single. So now the Texas has two on with nobody out. And that's the seventh hit allowed for Verlander. Gary Ward up, and that's a 5-10, which is a catcher's card. Gas is a 5. That's a 17. Let's see what we got there. Wild pitch followed by foul out. So there is an out, but runners move over to second and third. And we're going into the heart of the Texas order with Buddy Bell up. And he gets a 3-7, which is a single. And knocks in a run. They need base runners. So they uh, aren't going to try to send the runner. And that run is scored by, uh, by Yost. So it's another hit. And the second earned run. Runners are at the corners. One out. Larry Parrish up. And he gets a 1-9 is that a 1-9? Yep, with a double 1-15 to 15 or a single double asterisk. And that is actually a double, and that scores another run. And there's going to be some action out in the Houston bullpen now. They are going to get Colin McHugh up in the bullpen. With Pete O'Brien up and a runner at second and third and only one out. And that is a 5-8, which is a strikeout. That's two away. Seventh strikeout for Verlander, and George Wright is up, and he gets a 4-11, which is a ground ball second base C. So that ends the threat. But the Rangers score two more, and they make the score 6-3. And that brings up in the top of the sixth, Alex Bregman to face McLaughlin, who's Gets a 2-8, which is a line-out to shortstop. 
one away. Guriel is up. That's a 5-8, which is a ground ball second baseman. He's a 4. That is a 3. That's going to be a big hit. 3-4 is a single. So, Guriel with a hit. George Springer up. He gets a 1-3, which is a pop-out to shortstop. That's two away. And that brings up Josh Reddick. He gets a 2-12, which is a pop-out to first base. And McLaughlin gets out of that inning. And now here come the Rangers. They're down 6-3. Just need three runs. Wayne Collison up. He gets a 2-2, which is a line out to third base. Curtis Wilkerson's up. He gets a 2-10, which is a double one or a single. And he gets a single out of that. And that's going to be it for Verlander. He goes five and a third innings. And they're going to bring in McHugh. McHugh on the mound finishes his warm-up pitches. And Ned Yost is up with one out and one on. And that's a 4-10, which is a ground ball second base X. The second baseman is a 2. That's a 13. That's going to be an out with no runner. So that's a fielder's choice. Two out, Ned Yost on at first. Mickey Rivers up. 611 is a fly ball center field. The center fielder for this team is a. Um, what is he? A two. And that's one, so that's going to be an out. So no runs for the Rangers there. And uh, that brings up where, or there they are. Evan Gaddis will be the uh, batter for the Houston Astros here in the top of the seventh. Four five is a pop out to first base, one away. Gonzalez up, 4-8. That is a fly ball center field, two away. And that brings up Korea, and he gets a 1-8, which is a ground ball shortstop, and he is out. So that's it. No runs for Houston in the seventh. They still lead 6-3, though. Gary Ward gets a 3-6, which is a ground ball shortstop, and he's out. One away. Buddy Bell gets a 6-9, which is a strikeout. Two away. Larry Parrish gets a 6-8, which is a strikeout. Okay, there's going to be a new pitcher for the uh, Rangers as McLaughlin goes four. Very good innings. But he's going to give way to Odell Jones. And that brings up Tony Kemp to face Odell Jones in the uh, in the top of the eighth. 111 is a ground ball first base A, so Kemp is out. El Tuve is up. He gets a 5-7, which is a strikeout. El Tuve, again, 
having a terrible series. And Bregman up, and he gets a 6-12, which is a fly ball right field. And he's out. So, no runs for Houston in the eighth. It, the score is still 6-3 with um, Houston leading. Pete O'Brien up against, um, they're going to take McHugh out. So that's going to be it for McHugh. He goes two-thirds in the sixth. And then um, yeah, he goes one and two-thirds. And he will give way to Will Harris. Will Harris coming on, and Pete O'Brien to face him. He gets a 4-10, which is a fly ball, center field C. So he's out. George Wright is up. And that's a 2-2, which is a strikeout. And uh, up comes Wayne Tollison, and he gets a 5-5, which is a strikeout. Some of these Texas batters, it's actually better to be on the pitcher's card. That's when you know you're in trouble. Yuli Guriel gets a 4-3, and that's a walk. So Guriel is walked by Odell Jones. Russ Springer up. He gets a 6-8, which is a pop-out to first base. One away. Josh Reddick comes up to the plate. He gets a home run 1-17, to or it'll be a fly ball. But it is a home run. So there's a two-run home run for Reddick. His first of the series... And now Houston has the good 8-3 to three lead. And uh, that brings up Gaddis, who gets a 1-5 strikeout. And Marwin Gonzalez gets a 1-4 fly ball center field B. No further damage for Houston, but they do score two in the top of the ninth, and they make it 8-3. to three. So Texas has to have five runs right here. Curtis Wilkerson up. 5-7 is a strikeout. And they got the worst batters in the world coming up to try to get that those five runs. And there's already one out. And they are going to go to the bench and bring in Alan Bannister to pinch hit. Four net Yost. You get the 3-6, which is a single. So Bannister does get a hit off Harris. So there's one aboard, one out, and that brings up Mickey Rivers. And he gets a 6-7, which is a single. Only thing in the middle of the column, and it's right there. And now Texas has a little threat going, two runners on. Only one out, and Gary Ward up, and he gets a 2-11, which is a ground ball into a double play at shortstop and ends the game. And that's how it ends, folks, with the final score, 8-3, and that means that the 2018 Houston Astros will advance to the winner circle with the um, uh, 1988 A's. And uh, we will go next, the next uh, series is going to be a National League series. It's going to be a Phillies team from the 60s, as I have been told by one of, uh, one of the people who watches the channel that um, pretty much any Phillies team from the 60s was bad. So they will be the bad team in the next matchup. And then I will come up with a good National League team for them to play, and that will be the next series. So be on the lookout for that. But from here... 
the Houston Astros advanced to the next round by beating the 1984 Texas Rangers in two straight games. And that's it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.